All right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Benolfi. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. The weekend is here. I've got two more shows to go, and then I'll be right there with you guys. Anyway, let's uh, get this puppy a rocking and rolling. Going to show you what's going on here. And uh, you'll see that uh, as I flip it on over, one of the things I wanted to show you were a few showers that were popping up there into Marion County. Nothing uh, crazy, but uh, again, Salt Springs over towards Astor may get a couple of showers here as we get uh, deeper into the uh, evening here. Things appear to be kind of uh, falling apart on approach to Salt Springs and Astor and then up, upstream there near High Springs, a few more showers. Other than that though, again, really not too bad. Jeff Neighbors, Marilyn Drew, Juan Melendez, all in the house. Thanks guys for, for popping on in and, and saying hi. Uh, who else has popped in? Elm Flores, Sue Raymond, a great group in here tonight. Appreciate you all uh, popping on in and, and saying hi. Uh, just wanted to show you there's a couple of showers right there uh, over towards uh, Salt Springs. Viv Ed Saunders, Bonnie Patrick, uh, good to have you in here. Appreciate you as always uh, popping in and saying hi and, and doing that thing we call uh, this weather show as we do each night. Uh, Angel Sebastian, Bill Bushman, happy Friday to you, my good friend. Uh, Teresa Costa, uh, to you from Alani. Alani! Super A, good to have you. Alani, Alani, Alani. Now, let me share over to one more page here real quick, and then we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, so there's, there's a look at that radar. Overall, the satellite and radar perspective uh, looks like this. It was... Pretty hot, right around 90 today, Maryland Drew. Well said there. Uh, and uh, again, weekend temperatures will be just a little bit cooler tomorrow by about two degrees than where we were today. So 90 down to 88, maybe 87. And speaking of those temperatures, uh, let me show you what we've got out there right now. Uh, we have 83 in Orlando, 84 in Sanford, 78 uh, back towards Ocala. For those of you that may have been wondering what it looks like, Terry Beezer, good to have you. Bonnie Patrick, Dina Andrusov, Beverly Wells. All popping in and saying hi tonight. Good to have each and every one of you in here, as always. There's Beverly. Good to have you there, Bebs. The Bevster, the Bevinator. Uh, Wanda Hamilton has popped in. Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. Wanda Ruski. Uh, there you go. That's uh, kind of a look at uh, what we have there for you. And uh, now we take a look at the evening future cast map there. Uh, you can see showers uh, basically falling apart. Could be a few clouds. Uh, daybreak as that front drops south, not expecting too much in the way of any, any moisture, though, by uh, daybreak. So good news there. Now, let's take a look at these forecast lows. Really not too low at all. Uh, cool trend. Yeah, I know, right, Bill? Well, West Palm Beach, yep, a couple showers down there. Barbara Ross, good to have you. Viv Ed Saunders, uh, definitely a hot one for sure. Well, you're absolutely right about that. Uh, let's take a look now what we got here. Uh, there it is. Uh, Sue Raymond, good to have you there. 65 up in Ocala, 69 in Sanford, 69 in Bicklow, right around 70 as we get you back towards Melbourne and Palm Bay. All right, so let's take a look now at the weekend setup. I'm going to kind of do this here two ways for you. Number one, we'll do it futurecast way where we uh, go hour by hour, and then I'm going to show you the, the, the weather players on that. Dina Fitzpatrick, uh, thank you. Uh, appreciate your kind words. JoJo, uh, Dina Fitzpatrick has shared. May Day, tomorrow, it's coming. That's right, I've got a May graphic too, by the way. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, here's a look at the future cast, hour by hour. Again, quiet Saturday morning. Northeast breeze a little bit cooler by the afternoon. Sea breeze works in maybe a sprinkle or two. But watch what happens on Sunday. You'll see the clouds and the showers get going, and, and some of that rain uh, could be briefly heavy uh, by Sunday afternoon. Now, as far as the rainfall amounts, are concerned, it looks to be a little bit underdone. Uh, the RPM future cash rainfall graphic looks to not have been updated. Anita Braddock, Andrea, uh, it's so hot, I need air. <laughs> Andrea, hey Tony, what's up? Sean, good to have you there. Jill Singh, Tony, Tony, Tony has done it again. Joanne Clendinst, good group tonight. Let's take a look now at what's going to be happening. So the front kind of stalls out tonight and then begins to lift back north on Sunday. And that's when, as that front is lifting back north, that is when we could have uh, those showers and storms come Sunday afternoon. Bonnie Patrick, can we go to the beach Sunday? You can. I think Saturday is a better beach day. Just watch uh, 
those afternoon showers uh, and storms. Kenneth Lewis, next cold front will probably be Thursday uh, of next week, next Thursday. I'm going to talk more about that here in a second. There's uh, the afternoon highs tomorrow, a little cooler along the coast, uh, south of that front, northeast winds. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we go county by county. Orlando 89, Christmas 88, Zellwood 89. Uh, there's a look now at Astor 87, Daytona Beach 82. Pam Mason, good to have you there. Uh, let's see, Sanford right around 88, Lake Mary 89, over towards Ocala, coming in at 87 degrees, Bushnell 89, and then back towards St. Cloud, Point Siena, and Kissimmee. Uh, we are talking about, uh, again, readings that as you go closer to the coast, dropping back into the lower 80s, and then as you work your way inland, uh, nearing the 90-degree mark, nearing the 90-degree uh, mark. So that uh, is kind of what we're looking at right there, gang. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so that's a look at that. All right, golf forecast for uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Pam, good to have you. Spring is over. We might get one more little shot of it there. I hear the thunder song. Hazel had a great day. Patty, hello to you. Viv Ed, uh, whose birthday is it? I missed it. Tony, good evening. Have a sensational week. Pamela Brodke, same to you. Colleen O'Neill, uh, perfect golf weather, she says. Let's take a look now at the Disney forecast. And you can see the Magic Kingdom. 8 a.m., 72. Noontime coming in at 83. Jeff Peacock. Jeff, uh, how's your football team doing in the draft tonight? Brian Keller, Marisol Cortez. Uh, spotting shower at 5. Uh, the pool forecast here, uh, bright sunshine at 976, uh, humid at uh, noon at 83, and then uh, again a spotty shower, couldn't be ruled out by 5 o'clock. Uh, Bone Beach forecast here, uh, going as such, thank you everyone. Oh, Hazel, happy birthday to you. Hazel's got a birthday, she's turning 29, 29, my Hazel's turning 29. All right, wind, northeast, 10 to 15. Rip currents will be the big concern tomorrow. Uh, waters are comfortably warm now, 76 to 79. Gerald Ram, it was a nice on the coast, cutting the grass. Nice breeze out there. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's take a look. We do have a little uh, regatta going on this weekend, the Lipton Cup regatta, if you are looking for something to do all weekend long. Boom, it says with Ed. Robin, uh, right, it's a lovely night. Hey, Tony, forecast low in the morning here in Tennessee. Mounds 36. Woo, Jojo Hernandez, Gerald Ellett, uh, second pick need defense. There you go, Kelvin Joseph, nice. Uh, June 2nd, Andrea, your birthday's a day before mine. Mine's on the 3rd, by the way. Happy 2019, you just picked. Very good. Is that, who, who's your team? I see the Bengals on the board right now. Jeff, who's your team? I thought you were the Jaguars. Uh, 82 Saturday, 84 Sunday, bit of a breeze out there. Now, let's talk next week. Michelle. Uh, from Leesburg has popped in. Miss Jones, always a pleasure to have you there. There's a look at Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. Staying hot, but Thursday we think this run's going to approach, and that's when we think we're going to get some showers and some storms. Uh, the European was not going with a whole lot of rain, a quarter to about a half an inch of rain. Uh, John Hansen is in the house. Uh, GFS is definitely a bit wetter uh, with... Uh, with the rain, especially along the coast there. So we'll be keeping our fingers crossed on that. So there you have it. Uh, there it is, a half an inch uh, to close to two inches. That's what, that is what uh, the GFS is indicating uh, potentially here as we go through Thursday and Friday of next week. Thursday and Friday of next week. So how about that? That would be awesome. Uh, so there we go. All right. Let's see here. That's a look at what we got. So, all right. Now, just a quick friendly reminder. Let me do one thing here real quick. The tropics are quiet. And this is some good news. Right there, tropics are quiet. A lot of dry air. A little high over us. Uh, we are now, just as a friendly reminder, uh, we are now 31 days out. 31 days out to the start of uh, hurricane season. 
Trask will be good. Oh, you got, oh yes. Vaccine, May, May the 5th. Very cool. There you go. Northern Ireland. Woo, Pamela. That is very hot. All right, let's take a look at the updated seven-day forecast here. And uh, you will see uh, that uh, we've got the heat, 89 on Saturday, 90 on Sunday, 93 on Monday, even hotter Tuesday and Wednesday, 94, 94. And then on Thursday, there's a front. Both models are keying in on this. And with a nice dry air mass coming in for Friday, Saturday, and potentially even on into Sunday. Let's keep our fingers crossed on that, folks, because that would be... That would be absolutely uh, fantastic. So 89, 90, 93, 94, 94, 89, and 86. So that's uh, that's a peek at uh, what we've got um, uh, right there. 89, 90, 93, 94, 94, and 89. So plenty of heat, plenty of heat to go around there in that seven-day forecast with the payoff being that uh, we may have uh, some very comfortable air by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, temperature-wise around the country, I do want to show you this. Natalie Ann, Cindy, good to have you. Terry Lottie, uh, Juan Melendez, there you go. Don't panic about hurricane season. Don't do that. Chilly in the Northeast, 43 in Buffalo, 43 in Bangor, Maine, 56 in Boston. Washington, D.C., 56 uh, I'm ready. We'll drive like crazy. <laughs> Very nice. Carol Ann Gidney Kilburn has popped in. Out west, look at Vegas. 96 in Fuego. Sacramento, 82. Portland, 67. Minneapolis coming in at 59. Christina Garcia has popped in. Christina, Christina, Christina has done it again. Good to have you there. Let's uh, take a look now at that snow cover. There you go. High country out west. We do have some snow in the highest terrain now. The Kentucky Derby will be beautiful. Bonnie, you are correct. Well, look at the cold air up in Canada and Alaska. 21 point per hour, 25 in known. Fort Ross, 13 above. Baker Lake, 12 above. Helene Risch, good to have you there. Yellowknife, 34. Fort McMurray, Bomby, 63. Moosonee, 32. Ottawa, 34. Diane Irene, I love this weather. Look at Vegas, 96. Cold in New England, 75 in Raleigh, 68 in Atlanta. There you go. Uh, right back at you, Deb. Deb Vask. Vived, she's, she's ready. 73 in Houston, 83 in Orlando, 84 in Cancun. Kingston coming in at 82. Uh, 75 South, what's this? Uh, Mingnan Beats, good to have you there, young lady. 68 in San Jose. Caracas, 81. Bo Bogota. 55, Manaus, 77, La Paz, 41, uh, Punta Arenas <clears throat> coming in at 43, Cape Town, 55, Niemi, 93, Rabat, Morocco, 50, look at Oslo, freezing, freezing right now, there it is, they are cold, Surgut, 36, Astana, 41, Bratsk coming in at 37, degrees. Bratsk, 37 degrees. Uh, and there you have it now. We go to Baghdad, 81. Bishkek, 52. Surgut, 36. Bratsk, 37. Yakutsk, coming in at 41. Uh, right back at you, Kilo. Peter Curtis, Jerika Morales, doing well. Thanks for asking, gang. You guys ready for the weekend? Uh, Shanghai, 68. Ho Chi Minh City, 84. Jakarta, and uh, Kassar, 81 each. Darwin, 81. Perth, little front has come on through, 54. Adelaide, about to cool down. Front's just to the west. Melbourne, 70. Hobart Airport coming in at 61. Prayers for in the, India is correct, Natalie. Well said. Glad to see you're thinking about uh, our loved ones and our friends abroad. A 90 today in Orlando, Bithlow, Kissimmee, and St. Cloud. 91 in Melbourne and Palm Bay. By the way... The 90 in Orlando and Melbourne uh, marked the seventh and third time each city there has hit the 90 degree mark already. Uh, it is. It is cold. Mignon, Bratsk. That's right on hell. Joe Ram. 
<laughs> and Gerald and Lex. All right, so again, uh, a couple showers just kind of recap here, and then let you guys get back to the draft because it is Friday. I know many of you are indeed watching that. A couple sprinkles here, uh, kind of coming through Salt Springs, may hang together near Pearson and Astor, uh, but it is falling apart rapidly. Uh, we take a look now at the RPM model for tomorrow, uh, late in the day. Maybe a brief little sprinkle there in East Orlando, and then better rain chances coming at us there as we get you on into uh, Sunday, and some of that rain could be briefly heavy. So let's take a look now at the updated seven-day forecast here. Tina Owedding, good to have you there. Juan, uh, <laughs> love you guys too. A walk, uh, walk Daytona today really wasn't too bad. Colleen, it was a nice little breeze, right? All right, so rain chances going up on Sunday. The heat is on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we are hoping, fingers crossed, that we actually get a decent front coming in on Thursday. If it does come on through, it would likely be the last one uh, that we would get that really would lower the humidity like this one could potentially do. Uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll keep you posted and continue to update that. Uh, sometimes the models get a little aggressive this time of the year and try to bring fronts in. Uh, it gets more and more difficult to get fronts into central Florida, especially uh, in the month of May. All right, gang, I'm going to rock and roll, uh, make some updates. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I'm back on Monday all next week. We're in the May sweeps. Uh, hope you'll, hopefully you'll check me out tonight on the CW8, uh, CW18 at uh, 10 and also West 2 News uh, at 11 on Channel 2. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. Get those shots and wear your masks. Take care, guys. See you.